all right next video what is up everybody um just going through the profiles gonna pick out this landslide game i had with nidhogger it's one of the higher damage averages that i've had um it's about twenty thousand and some change previously i'm normally averaging maybe like 13 to 17 thousand so this one was a little bit above average and just wanted to show off like positioning what i was doing right what i was doing wrong areas that i could see myself improving and this may help you guys too but um definitely if you if if you're trying to you know better your craft always watch watch your what you did right what you did wrong try to learn from where you could optimize damage or where you can optimize survivability um map awareness things like that but the to get to that option you just have to go to your profile and then up top there will be history and you can see your whole play history of games that you've played i haven't looked at how long it holds all that data but it's really 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 nice uh it's something to go back to and look at it it helps a lot when uh coaching or you know just talking talking things over with your teammates and things like that to improve your team play because this is one of those type of games so on landslide looking for my character i think i should be showing you guys the build um that i have but it mostly revolves around getting his cooldowns back both the power slide and the fire breath um so yeah heat sink which will be for fire breath basic attacks give you a reduced 0.15 seconds on your uh fire breath hammer and pull which is the enemy hit by power enemy each enemy hit by your power slide reduces its next activation and then fill the heat which is uh you know more damage to fire breath which for the majority of teams that i've been fighting with tanks this is what i'll go with if it's a team that's high dps i'm probably going to go with the fire tank build that i have where i take less damage when enemies are on fire um but no, most of the time i'll just swap out my character because it's not going to work so we get over to a main objective is to get people off the point um a lot of people like the skirmishes and like team deathmatch mentality it's not in the game it's it's just not in the game team deathmatch is not something that's in the game and you gotta you always gotta focus on your objective if you're not on the objective you're not scoring points um especially for the uh this type so i rotate back in uh kulev lost it and got it back and i was like oh, okay well we're having problems in there let me go back and check what's happening sure enough it is a buttercup I should have parried that, but I didn't. Kulev's putting really good damage on her. I follow up with a power slide into a fire breath. Just big damage. She's not getting out of that. It's just doing damage based off her health points, and she didn't have a lot, so she's getting she, she's she's catching it. So here's another example of me. Um, this is after the first skirmish. I move over to the C point, and my team is taking over B point. We have a Buttercup, a Miko, and a Kulev. We're not dying instantaneously, so I can I can make that move. I come back. I see Kulev's low. Um, so I'm going to try to push that healer out of the fight. That's probably what, that's most likely what I would expect most people to do is to get, especially a zero cool, take the point and then get the healer out of the fight. But, um, unsuccessful there. They hold that middle really, really well. And, um, yeah, they're holding B and they've taken C. I decide, hey, let me head over to C. Buttercup thinks otherwise, but she was just holding down her position, you know, enforcing her will. But it, it was it was nothing. No damage was really done. So I go over and take C. That's the big objective. That's the objective. We're already up in points by about 20 and some change. So I'm just going to um, make sure we keep a stable lead. <sighs> Coming back around, um, first thing I see is Gizmo. She's out of the fight. Miko's on her, and she freezes her. I thought... In all honesty, that the zero cool was on the buttercup when I hit that. Lost eyes on him. Wasn't really paying attention too well. But uh, at this point, I'm trying to burn down buttercup. Get zero cool. Uh, just, you know, to isolate himself while healing her. And uh, he, and he also put the one up on Kulev. So I'm not going to be going after Kulev. That's just not going to be the person I'm going to be trying to get. But there we go. We finally got like a good line of sight of him and his uh, main, main tank. Who's down? Kulev um, is now. I think he just died. No, no, no. He's he's Roman. But we then chase him down, finish that up, and then we're ready for objective A again. Um, so for this skirmish coming up, I think this is like that crazy risky one. But um, for the most part, my team is fighting on B. I see what's happening. Like I said, we got two healers, but I then I noticed that Miku is not there, so I'll start peppering up the uh the gizmo um now 
knowing that she just dropped her her sucker and then she did um she never used her bounce i tried to position myself right there next to the jumper just in case she did try to get up there and that was the main goal of me just you know moving myself over to the right um, I'm trying to read her cooldowns to better understand, you know, what's happening. So right here, I'm taking a, I'm coming back. Of course, like I said, I'm always trying to stay objective driven and I'm getting riddled by uh, buttercup and zero cool. So I step out. I don't know what's happening in there, but that zero cool is taking damage. I heal pop on the board and then sure enough, graciously gifted in front of me is bow that. So then I come back in with a power slide, the power slide was more so just a close distance with gizmo she's already used both of her um her dodges off the ground remember if they're not melee they have one option which is to get up and slide so on that note when she got up in that last fight um her option was to slide right or left so i guessed left my left her right and she just landed there and we got the kill but um yeah just something to remember if melee they can wake up with an attack and that can throw you off if you're standing on the body. But for the most part, remember that ranged, when they wake up, they get a free dash. You get a free dash on wake up. You don't burn stam. So I knew that she had wasted her two and she didn't have any left. So waking up, wake, wake up dash would be the only option um, for her. So here's another case of isolating the healer. I do a horrible job isolating him away. I should have did combo and then caught him with the ax afterwards very 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 um negligent on my part but there we saw our buttercup die in the middle i realized this area is probably not going to be the best to fight for so i'll keep line of sight of buttercup and her healer which it seems like nobody's coming over to help her so i'll continue this fight with no problems and then then she realizes that she's low and got it catches her so as long as you're line of sighting the healers if you know that they have healers that require line of sight as long as you're having a fight line of sight um especially with dps too always take advantage of it if you're a nidhogger you're, you win against most of the cast the only person only people that i could see situational um daemon which that shouldn't happen and uh cast which also shouldn't happen but if she's keeping distance she's really really good but if you can close distance and make her burn her cooldowns, uh, easy, easy fried chicken meal. So here we're just chasing Kulev. Nothing special about this. He's a healer uh, with really good uh, kit. He's pretty much a tank. Uh, we're coming to the belief of Kulev with shield and healing under him, totem. He's a tank, so treat him as one. It's going to be a long fight if you don't have cooldown burn. If he if he hasn't burned out all his cooldowns. So always keep that in mind. Going after a Kulev with any character is going to be a long fight unless two people are on him and he burns all his cooldowns. Um, so coming back to the fight, we see that, that uh, Gizmo's still low. I just cooked her up. She jumped up and we found out she burnt out. So we're, we're back into the middle. <sighs> Another unsuccessful um, Nidhogger ult. That's the second one of the game. When we look back at damage and things that we could have done better, that was one of the big things that I saw horrible placement of my alts the one that i did earlier just to, just to collect on the gizmo the one on the train to try to get the zero cool gets hit by the train and then that one really like literally outside of the fight just not a proud moment but nonetheless we're holding down the middle we're trying to let me say that again we're trying to hold down the middle as you can see it has not turned a color at any point so uh right there i thought i was going to get you know a little slick with the kulev uh uh, helm breaker and then he gets hit by the train just trying to be get the cool points that didn't happen so we're we're on pursuit of him buttercup's going to secure it after i get the stun and then we own b and we're going to try to get some more points now here's just another example of just buttercup as a tank and how much damage fire breath can do right there she was about at 35 health one stun power slide and fire breath on buttercup is death that is not that is not damage that you would want your tank to be sustaining without a healer. Um, in in all honesty, the only person that can withstand that kind of damage to their tank and heal through it is Zero Cool. So if it's a Kulev on the Buttercup, if she's outside the Kulev totem and she's not shielded, you have a chance. You really do um, as a Nidhogger. So in this skirmish, we're we'll seeing the point is B, and everybody's here on it. And uh, there was a successful alt, but as as is suspected, the uh, not counting all of our 
cooldowns, we have the gizmo over there with the uh, with the uh, chugga. So um, still skirmish, and we own the middle, but the one up was put on the Miko, so we change we change uh, gears over and get back on the point. Buttercup's coming back, of course. Same combo, power slide and a fire breath. Hold the from the point, and I think that's the biggest thing. We have a Kulev, and we have a Miku, and you all saw we're all shoulder to shoulder in that engagement coming back into the middle. I think that's one of the most important things you can do um, when you're trying to pick off targets is keep everybody as close as possible so all cooldowns, uh, especially from the healers, are hitting the team uh, during its most critical point. But always remember, like, if somebody's low with Nidhogger, just look at the situation if they have a kulev and a zero cool that person may be low health but what are the chances that you can burn them down fast enough before zero cool notices that they're about to get um toasted you know what i mean so always keep that in mind but same situation we're trying to take c and we're trying to keep them off the point biggest thing is we're trying to keep them off the point um we do take it and we get the win and um, we ended, like I said, with 20,569 uh, damage. I'm sorry, 20,555 damage. Um, we took 10,000 damage. We got, like I said, we, we definitely got a lot of killing blows. We were, we were the big DPS on our team. Um, we were the DPS class on our team. I'm not going to say the big DPS. We were the DPS uh, class on our team. So we definitely tried to maintain that and keep everything going. But um, yeah, this was pretty much just me positioning uh, with the same mentality I always have for the objectives. Try to push people off the objective. Um, make sure your healers have you covered. Uh, line of sight, their healers, and um, you know just make sure you're you're watching your cooldowns and trying to keep them most most optimized as possible for each engagement because it's definitely going to help the fight in the long run. But uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, comment down below, let me know what you guys would like to see, what characters you guys have in mind, what you're playing, what's your favorite map, what's your favorite character, favorite mods for each character, so on and so forth, really, really like to see the community grow in this one, really fun game, uh, gives you that old brawler power stone, uh, I guess Overwatch feel, I haven't, I, I, I probably only put like maybe three minutes in Overwatch, so I wouldn't know too much about it, but definitely a lot of people are saying it's definitely giving them the Overwatch feel, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.